Hi there, this is Jill Woods from jillwoods.com and this video is just to show you how to add a clickable hyperlink into your blog post on WordPress and you can use exactly the same technique for adding clickable links into pages on um, WordPress too. So this is how it looks. If I go to a website that I want to show somebody and share with people on my blog and just copy and paste the URL, this is what it looks like on WordPress. It doesn't even make it automatically into, into a clickable link. Okay, if I literally just copy and paste it, it just thinks it's a block of text. But I can do something really clever with it and I can make it look prettier. And as you can see, if I hover over it, I can make it into a clickable link. So if I just click that, it will take me to the page that I'm wanting to show people. Um, and in this instance, it's a blog post by Seth Godin. Um, and say I it's just going to take people to his blog so there we go so how have I done that well it's very very simple let me go back to my post and I'm just going to edit this post and show you how to do it because I say it's very very straightforward now the first thing you have to do is go to the page that you are wanting to direct people to and copy that URL okay the whole thing and then go back to your document. Now, I'm just gonna add, go down here and at the bottom down here, it's gonna look really messy, but this is not going to be a thing of beauty. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm gonna type the words that I want to create in turn into the clickable link. So I'm just gonna type, this is a great blog you must read, okay? And, oops. I can't always do that. I always put capital O when I'm typing you for some reason. Um, okay, so this is a great blog you must read. So if I then come along and highlight all of that text and go up here to the little link button, um, I can paste in my URL into this pop-up window. But really importantly, I must then come across and click on this little cog because inside there is a very important thing I need to do. I need to tick this box that says open link in a new tab. If I just if I don't do that and somebody clicks on that link, it will open up the link in the current window, and that means they've closed down my website, they've left my website, and obviously you want to keep keep people on your website as long as possible. So if you click this, it will open up the link you're sharing with people in a new tab so that your, your website stays open on their computer as well as the new one that you're sharing with them. Okay, so click that link and then click on update. Okay, now if I come off that, if I just come back and I highlight that, I can um, change it up font, I can do something, if I fancied it, you know, I could do something fancy with the font and I can make it bold and whatever I wanted to do, okay? So that has now become a clickable link. So if I just go into save draft and that saves itself, when I then go to view my post, that is going to have created a clickable link that is going to take people to the content I want to share with them, but in a new tab, so they're not being driven away from my website, okay? So if I now go to preview post, it will open up, as you see here, a new tab at the top, um, and I can scroll down and I can see this new link that I've put in. This is a great blog you must read. If I click on that link again, it's opening another new tab at the top. And this is going to take us to Seth's um, blog post that we want to share with people. And there it is. OK, now I just want to share something else with you just while you're here. Um, and that's a really cool thing that you can do with images. So as well as having a clickable text link, I can use images to create a link, a clickable link as well. So I'm going to go into add media. I'm going to pick a file that I've already got uploaded in here. Um, let's just do that one. So let's insert that into my post. And then once it's uploaded, it might take a little while because sorry, it was a silly image to choose. That's quite a big image. Um, I can click on it. I can edit it. I'm just going to, it's an enormous image. I'm going to make this really small just that's better. In fact, let's make it a little teeny weeny one. Um, once I'm in the edit image, page I can see here it says link to at the moment it says none if I click on that I can add a custom URL and again I can paste in there the link to the page that I want to share with people and again remember importantly come down and in here click on open link in a new tab 
okay and then I'm going to update and then obviously importantly always come back oops always come back oh, come on you know you want to and save that as a draft and once that has saved I shall show you how that then works in your blog post so once it's saved that there we go I can go to preview post and I'm going to scroll down and you can see now we've got this image and as I hover over it you can see it's very definitely a clickable link if I click on it opening up here in a new window is the same blog post that we've been sharing so hopefully that shows you how simple it is to make your um, your clickable links um, look more appealing than just this long string of rubbish um, and also how you can create a link that sits behind an image as well. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below this video. If you're watching this video on my blog post, just scroll to the bottom of the page and use the comment section. Um, I hope you found this very helpful. Thank you very much for spending some of your time with me today. And um, good luck with creating beautiful links on your WordPress websites.